I've been asked to speak briefly about the process involved in obtaining your 2.5% pay increase to apply for the first full pay period on or after the 1st of July. The background is of course that the limit to the amount of money which we can get for you is bound by the state wages policy to be 2.5%. Anything in excess of that would have to be earned through trade-offs which uh, to, to make cost savings. That policy is inflexible and it is enshrined in legislation by the uh, Industrial Relations Public Sector Conditions of Employment Regulation. We have, ASMOP has five awards which uh, we're in the process of varying. The Staff Specialist Award, the Career Medical Officers Award, the Medical Superintendents Award and the uh, Medical Officers Award or the JMR Award as it's known and the Police, New South Wales Police Forensic Medicine uh, Award. The Police Forensic Medicine Award has been varied yesterday. The others are in the process of uh, those applications having been filed today. The importance of filing those applications today or uh, before the 30th of June is that unless the application is filed before the 30th of June, we won't be able to get the earliest possible date for our members. That's governed by Section 15 of the Industrial Relations Act. The applications for all of these awards are for the variations to uh, the wages only, with the exception of the Staff Specialist Award, which has the uh, lactation breaks, um, also matters associated with consultation and uh, multiple assignments provisions inserted which are in, in all other awards. We are disappointed that more significant changes weren't uh, be able to put into the JMR award at this stage because members will be aware we've been negotiating with the Ministry of Health and indeed Health Services Union for a considerable period of time uh, about changing the somewhat uh, outdated JMR award. However, uh, it was not possible to have those proposed or some of those proposed changes inserted at, uh, at this time. Negotiations will be continuing indeed we're expecting to meet with the Ministry and Health Services Union on the 13th of uh, July to continue those discussions. The process which is actually involved is first of all an application must be made, something that looks like that. Uh, we have to go through the existing award make any changes which are necessary and also of course the most important part recalculate the rates of pay by adding the 2.5 percent we then of course have to go through the exercise of proofreading to make sure that there are no errors and, uh, and also to check re and recheck the calculations uh, in fact we've found a couple of very minor errors in the, the first draft and those have been corrected so the applications are then made the matter then is listed for a hearing uh, usually by consent and we would expect all of those to, to be varied by consent at this stage. The Police Medical Officers uh, Forensic Service Award was varied yesterday by consent and the others will be varied in short order. Uh, the Commission is quite, uh, quite aware of how important it is to get these things done and also of course the Ministry doesn't want to happen to pay back pay so they want to get them through quickly as well. Um, so that's roughly the outline of where we go through, that we're bound by the wages policy, we're bound by the regulation, we're bound by the process for making and varying awards in the Industrial Relations Act and, uh, and then the, we just, as industrial officers, go through the process of ensuring that the words are right, the calculations are right and we get the documents in on time and in the right form.